This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. <laughs> Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what?! What the fuck?! Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Usher. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. I can handle this. Oh, after you then. Well, if it isn't Beskar, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came before I decide to eat you. I'll start with your eyeballs. Fucking juicy when they pop. And then I'll pull out your little bones. Pick my teeth with. You sure you have room for me? You seem pretty well fed already. <laughs> my master only ever fed me when I won. I won a lot. Now, you've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One, two, <laughs> I like this one! Hey, Amaya! Company! Is that a pit? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting. So they built their own private pits, where things could get really nasty. That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, 
out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. My name is Asher Forrester. I've traveled all the way from Westeros. I'd suggest you go back there. It's not safe here for outsiders. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, the way I left was terrible, I know. But we were friends once, and could be again. Please, set aside your anger and listen to him. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. <laughs> You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. Eh. I thought worse. And what do they call that? That scary one with the two axes and the skull tattoo back in lease. What was it? Pestilence? Plague? The scourge. Right. The scourge. Anyway, he's dead. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. Well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you at least kill Bloodsong? Uh, hardly seems like a fair fight. Uh, I suppose... Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man! Because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> 
Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Here, use this! Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worth. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, Diddy. Your old champion is gone, as are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll 
fight for a higher purpose. To save innocence and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Killed! to stick together. Not now! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You made it clear your loyalty was with Lady Marjorie. Yet now you hardly serve her at all. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace. But I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, 
Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I do what's necessary, Your Grace. Including using another girl to talk your way in, I'm told. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have before, Your Grace. And I would again. You are resourceful, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. I hired you to kill White Hills. Not to do as you please. <laughs> your war, your way. For now. I'll show them their beds. Vesco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice.
iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Willingly. Sir, sir. <clears throat> I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. I'm ready whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. No more lies. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth! Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so until you no longer prove useful. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, clearly. Which is why you're here, doing her bidding. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Though I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! 
You're wasting my time. Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened... What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We enjoy what we have, for as long as we can. I plan to. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone! Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh. I... I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... I'm just making this worse, aren't I? It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's... it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. Alright then. I'm listening. Last night I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister... Make him pay. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Go get the guards. Oh, oh. my lord. <laughs> 
You scared me after. It's all you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. But it's done now. You betrayed us, Duncan. After everything my family's done for you. What I did, I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. And what about Garrett? You sent him to the wall for this house. I sent him there because I had to. Believe me, I didn't want to do any of this. Why did you do it at all? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger, Royland, as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been in danger in this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he'd retaliate. Losing your betrothal to Elena. It doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Flagrantly defying Griff and leaving Ortengrin to pay the price. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove, did you tell them about that too? No, they've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> As I said... Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you promised. Kill me? And I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. Please, Roderick! Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. Whatever you decide, temper your anger with wisdom. If not for my sake, and for your families. I'll spare your life. Now talk. You're a bigger coward than he is. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! Take this traitor away! Silencing me won't change things. You're making a mistake! What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Fight for the forest and fight for the sun! Hey ho, Northwood! Oh, what my mother riches in iron 
smell that? We're almost there, Beske. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. I'm just another sword. No different than any of you. Roderick is the rightful lord. Trust me, everyone will love him. They'll want to fight for him. Hey, if he's anything like you, well, we'll see. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher, thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. since I killed any White Hills. From ice, brother. Iron from ice. I'll hold them off. Oh, my lord, you Asher can't. is your new lord. Yes, my lord. 
Rotrick! Go! Take as many of them as you can with you! 